Welcome to Ham Radio Networking, and in this video I want to show you the best MMDVM based reflector software ever. It's better than YSF reflector, it's better than P25 reflector, or any of those other reflectors that are a pain to install. With this reflector, you can get any of those reflectors all in one with a beautiful piece of software. Um, that is a dashboard and this dashboard is very clean and it works very well. So I want to show you how to install that. It is super easy and it does everything that your old uh, your old reflector can do and more. So let's jump right into it. So the, the piece of software we're talking about today is MMDVM reflector built by Caleb KO4UIJ. Um, this is a very nice piece of software that combines YSF P25 NXD and M17 reflectors all together. He actually rewrote the entire software and put it all together. Um, so that's what this is. And it's super easy to install. You run these commands and then you change the configuration file to what you want. And that's pretty much it. So I want to show you how you install that. And then I also want to show you how to install the dashboard. So I'll show you what that looks like at the end of the video. And then just by the looking of the dashboard, you might want to start using this instead of your old reflector software. So right now I am SSH'd into my Debian 12 machine. This should work on Debian 11 and it'll also work on Debian 12. So you can install this on your uh, ASL3 installation as well or any other Debian 11 or Debian 12 cloud installation. That's what I'm going to use for this. But it's all pretty much the same. So we're going to go ahead and copy these commands. Um, it, I would recommend you to use something that isn't root. But if you are using root, then go ahead and skip the little sudo at the beginning. So I'm going to copy this over. And we're pretty much just going to run all these commands. So pretty simple. So we're getting an update, we're getting an upgrade, and Git is already installed. So that'll also install Git. So then we are going to change directory into the opt directory. And then we're going to get this MMDVM reflector repository. So we're going to go ahead and get that, and we have it now. So we're going to CD into that repository, and inside that repo, we have a Debian folder. That's where our script and service file will be located. So we'll go into there. And then what we're going to do from here is we are going to chmod. So we're going to make the installer executable. And then we're going to go ahead and run the installer. So it's going to do a bunch of stuff, and this will take a second. So we'll let it go through its thing, and we'll come back. Okay, it is done. So let's go ahead to the config file. So at the very end, it'll tell you config files in this directory. Please enable the mode you want and how to start the reflector. So we're going to go ahead and edit the configuration file, which is located in opt mmdvm reflector, mmdvm reflector configs and config.mymel. So this might look a little complicated at first, but um, I'll explain what this is. The ASL path is for the access control file, so you can ban or whitelist people with that. We have the logs path, and then we have the report. The reporter is the main API that talks to your dashboard. If you plan on using the dashboard, go ahead and set this enabled section to true. So remove false, add true. And then by default, the port uses 3000. You can change that if you want to. REST is going to be another API that is used in the future. Um, so for right now, go ahead and leave that disabled unless you see something on the README that shows you how you can use it. Or that I have a follow-up video on that. Um, I want to go ahead and I'm going to enable the P25 reflector and port 41000. It's perfectly fine with me. If you did not want to use that port, you can go in here and change that port right there. And then you can enable or disable the access control file for that mode. We're going to leave NXDN off, and now we have YSF. We're going to go ahead and disable, I mean, enable YSF. We're going to leave it on the default port of 42,000. You can also enable M17. 
I don't use M17, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I just have YSF and P25. You can enable all of them, or you can enable just one of them. Um, but they will all work simultaneously. So we're going to go ahead and save that file with Control o enter and then Control o x to exit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to system ctl start mdbm underscore reflector. And let's run that. And just to double check that it's working, we're going to go ahead and run status. And we can see that it's active. It's running and that YSF and P25 reflected. So I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I, if I can connect to this over my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and open Star and put in this IP address to see if I can connect it. Okay, so I've added um, my P25 reflector on my phone and we're going to go ahead and see if we can connect. And if we go ahead and show you what this looks like, it is connected right there. So we know that it's working correctly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect, but we will reconnect later to show you the dashboard. So right here, you have a working P25, YSF, NXDN, M17, whatever. You have a multi-mode reflector set up and running right now. It was that easy. Nothing else required. You don't have to compile anything. That script does it all for you. But if you want a nice dashboard to go along with it, then we're going to go ahead and install another piece of software written by Caleb ko 4 uij called the MMDBN Reflector Monitor. So we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions. I'll leave a link to these repos where you can click on them and view the instructions from there. So I've already updated, upgraded, and installed Git, and I'm in slash ops. So we want to skip those commands. You will have to run. Uh, you should have to run the CD op command, but you shouldn't have to do the other ones. Or you can do them if you want, just to be sure. So we want to go ahead, make sure we're in the opt directory. We are, and we're going to go ahead and clone this MMDV and reflector software. Okay, that's cloned. We're going to CD into the Debian folder where it has our servers file and our um, script and then we are going to make that script executable just like we did before these the setup is very very similar we're going to go ahead and run the installer so this will take quite a bit of time because uh, it's building and installing everything that's needed for the node and notice what makes this piece of software run. It's based off of Node.js. So our dashboard is installed. And we're going to go ahead and run the dashboard. So system CTL MMDVM reflector monitor. We're going to go ahead and check the status, make sure it's running. And it is active and running. So let's go ahead, get the IP address and see if this will work. So colon 4000, because we're selecting the port that we're using for the web server. OK, so this is what the dashboard looks like. It's already very pretty, and this is in light mode. If this hurts your eyes, there's a dark mode toggle. And so this is what it looks like. It's a very simplistic, clean dashboard that shows all the information that you need to know. And it's already connected up with uh, our MMDT reflector. It's that easy. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to connect over P25. And boom, right there, P25 connections. It shows my IP address. It shows my call sign, the ID, and stuff like that. And if we transmit, we'll get a report up here that shows our reports on who is there. And there you go. So in this video, we explain the MMDBM reflector software and everything that it can do. And we also installed the MMDVM reflector monitor, which is a very nice dashboard that goes along with the very nice piece of software. MMDV and Reflector.
that we showed. It shows your P25 connections and it shows who's transmitting when they stop transmitting and stuff like that. So if you thought this video was nice, please give it a thumbs up and spread the word about this awesome piece of software that has been created for the amateur radio community. And I'll see you guys in the next amateur radio video.